Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Corey Reed, and welcome to the first season of Corey Reed Reads. I have three throwback books that I'd like to read it to you, and here they are. The Night Before Thanksgiving by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Tammy Lyon. Where Can It Be by Ann Jonas and the Picnic, written by Diana Noonan, illustrated by Rick Yamas. Now, this first book that I've been celebrating Thanksgiving for many years to come. And that's what that story is the night before Thanksgiving. The di it's the difference. That's the difference between the night before Christmas. It was written by Clement C. Moore. But this is different. Celebrating Thanksgiving. And that's what really is all about. So let's get right to it with reading. The Night Before Thanksgiving by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Tammy Lyon. Twas the night before Thanksgiving and all through the nation. Families got ready for the big celebration. Our, at our house, my mom baked three kinds of pies, pecan and pumpkin and apple surprise. That, that night we were nestled, all snug in our beds, while visions of turkey legs danced in their heads. The very next morning, Thanksgiving, yippee! We got up and watched the parade on TV. Relatives arrived from near and far by taxi and airplane, by train and by car. My brother came up the basement stairs, lugging the kids' table and folding chairs. We counted and polished our best silverware, then set the two tables with patience and care. The turkey went in as, and as more cousins came, I laughed and I shouted and called them by name. Hi, Danny. Hi, Donnie. Hi, Paula and Vicky. Hi, Casey. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Brenda and Ricky. Come in from the porch. Step into the hall. Now come and play. Come and play. Come and play all. So up to my room, my cousins, they flew. We played with my toys and computer games, too. We made pilgrim hats and funny shoe buckles, then put on a skit for aunts and uncles. All were assembled except Uncle Norm, who called us to say he was stuck in a storm. Meanwhile, my mother was yinning out yams, cranberry jelly, and honey-baked hams. When mom wasn't looking, we stuck olives on fingers, said there were puppets, and op grand opera singers. While dinner was cooking, we played dodgeball outside. Our tummies were growling. Can we eat yet? We cried. The timers then sounded. The turkey was cooked. Mom opened the oven. She sniffed and she looked. When what to our watery mouth should appear, but a marvelous bird which caused us to cheer. Its skin all so golden, the drumstick so juicy, the stuffing was fluffy, Thanks to my Aunt Lucy. Dad slid out of the bird, out the bird. It weighed 30 pounds. He turned and he, then he tripped over one of our howls. Up in the air, the turkey did fly over the string beans and straight for a pie. My brother and I made such a clatter as we left and caught the bird on a platter. On a platter. All right, sang Grandpa, get on with the carving. Can't you see that these people are starving? Dad spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He sliced up the turkey, then turned with a jerk. In front of a house, we heard beats of a horn. A turkey delivered none other than Norm. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, the party can start. I made it, Norm said. 
We took our, we all took our places. The smooth food smelled so great. We started to dig in, but Dad said to wait. We're thankful that everyone is together this year, in our home and our hearts. We are where we hold you so dear. We ate and we ate, yet last but not least, the very next day was a leftover feast. The end. That was an amazing story about celebrating Thanksgiving. This, I cannot wait to celebrate this yet Thanksgiving this year. And that's the only reason why is because this is only the beginning. And when we come back, I like to read this story about a little boy who lost his blanket. It's called Where Can It Be? Plus, The Picnic and a recap for The Tonight Show. When the first season of Corey Reed Reads continues after this. <laughs> 